Welcome along once again to Game of the Week, courtesy of Super League Raw. That's right, the most in-depth analysis of the best game of the week every week on Super League Raw. And this week, it's going to be an absolute belter as the Catalan Dragons, the league leaders, welcome their main challengers, the Wigan Warriors, to Perpignan. This is going to be a knockdown drag out affair. It really is going to be a sensational game of Rugby League. If you've never watched Rugby League, this is the time to do it. This Saturday night on Sky. What else are you going to be watching? This is sport of the highest quality. Believe me, it's not going to let you down. They have gone head-to-head -head twice this season already. The first time in round number four when the Catalan Dragons went to the Wigan Warriors and won 18 points to 10. They were then put together for Magic Weekend at St. James's Park, Newcastle. Wigan at the time was second, Catalan were third, with just points difference separating the two sides. Let's now look back on what was a sensational game of Rugby League. <laughs> Some of the best talent in Super League was on show in this game. Bevan French, Jay Field for the Wigan Warriors, and of course, Arthur Morg, who has been great for this season. Tom Johnston, the top try scorer in Super League. This was going to be a very interesting game indeed. Again, from Hurl. Let's go. Go. Next is one. And his burn, two strong drives from Wigan and they're up to that Catalan Dragons 10 metre line, set restart signal, Powell fires it out, here is Field, Field back in the side, French and they're in for the first try of the game and it's Jake Wardle who crosses and Wigan take full advantage of the penalty for offside against the Catalan side. In the line, goal five. Arturo Romano on the last. Little kick cross field from Pierce. The ball is loose. It's going to get picked up. It's going to get dotted down by Scott. Tab off. Let's see. We are on tackle five. Video ref. Tom Grant has the job of sorting this one out. It's clean. Thank you. I see all I need. It was Sam Tompkins. Talk about an opportunist try. An opportunity for Tom Johnston. Johnston with a flying finish. Ed Johnston in the corner. But has he got that ball down for yet another try this season? Mate, no tackle. Referee Liam Moore reckons it's a try, it's but it's another Brandy call Tom. for video ref Tom Grant. Tom Grant. We're going to come back for a penalty for a late hit, please. Just look at the try first. Come on, Kane. That's the fifth tackle. Ball. Ball five. And Pierce runs it. Whitley. Whitley. Has he got that one down? He rolls over and gets another Catalan Dragons try. And Catalan. Cranking it up here. Move, Sam! Get back here, Bevan. Hold! No, go for it. Mitchell Pierce again, pulling the strings, and Mathieu Morg! Oh, magnifique! Mathieu Morg with the try. Mitchell Pierce again, opening up Wigan's defence. Field floats the pass. The ball comes to Miski and Miski back in field. Field it is. Cust and it's French and French magnificent. Liam Moore not given this one yet. But what play that was from Wigan. This is maybe what they're going to have to do. They are going to have to throw the, everything out the window. Tear it all up. And try and run rings around the Catalan Dragons. Which is just what they did there. Tompkins with the kick. Miski is underneath it. Oh, Johnston! Oh, what about that from Tom Johnston? My word! What a try from the Catalan Dragons winger! 
clutching that ball out of the Newcastle skies to get the first try of the second half. Absolutely superb. McAloram's pass. Tomkins short pass. Whitley gets his second. Matt Whitley gets his second of the game. And Catalan's dominance continues. To the short side they go, Pierce. Oh, lovely pass. And it's Arturo Romano who gets the latest Catalan Dragons try. Another piece of masterwork from Mitchell Pierce. Pierce, Whitley, Whitley, Johnston, Johnston, if that's his hat trick try, that is superb. But did he manage to get that ball down before he got to the sideline? Reckons it is a try, Liam Moore. It's another call for video ref Tom Grant. Just checking to see if he stayed with the other player. Thank you. French lobs the ball on and Miski comes back in field, a high shot on him, he dodges and Miski gets a Wigan try to turn the tide briefly. And there is something for those Wigan supporters to celebrate. Smith with a little dink over the top and Marshall will get the try he had to be so patient there to wait for that ball to sit up he waited his time and Liam Marshall denied just a few moments ago gets his 12th try of the season here is Harry Smith Jay Field Fields, King little kick ahead Miski will chase it Johnston looking over his shoulder, can't get out of trouble, can't get out of trouble, and concedes the try, and I think he has conceded the try to Morgan Smithis. Johnston, who has not put a foot wrong this afternoon, has gifted that try to Morgan Smithis. So what a performance that was by the Catalan Dragons. They went five from five earlier in the season, but this was the game that really did make a statement of intent to the rest of the league. Mitchell Pierce with four assists on the day and an exceptional kicking game, a hat-trick for Tom Johnson. This was a brilliant display of rugby league by the Dragons. There was no doubt about it. They were in contention. They weren't going to be going anywhere. Wigan 22, Catalan 46. <laughs> Well, that was then, and this is now. And as you can see, the last five Super League games between these two have pretty much uh, gone the way of the Dragons, with the last two uh, this season going to them. But prior to that, Wigan were in decent form against the Dragons. They'll be looking to try and replicate that this time around in Perpignan. Going into the game, well, look at those last five in Super League. An absolute watertight record for both. Four wins on the spin for both Catalan and for Wigan. Their first, and of course their second, it couldn't be closer, could it? Look at the average points scored. Look at the average points conceded. Can you pick a winner? We're finding it really difficult to do so. We know that they've got quality strike on both edges. Tom Johnston, the league's top score, uh, try scorer. Liam Marshall with 19 this season for him. And of course, on the other side, are uh, Miski and Davies. They're not uh, to be uh, took out of contention either. Look at the odds. As you can see there, Catalan are the favourites. 49 at home, 15 to 8 for the Wigan Warriors. When we break down their statistics for the season as a team, again, some incredible stats here. Look at the try scored. You'd expect that from first and second. They're first and second in the league. Average metres per carry, couldn't be closer. Tackle bus goes the way of the Catalan Dragons. Perhaps that's because they've got more punch down the middle. We know this season that Wigan have had it to do it tough uh, in their forwards due to injury. Of course, Tyler Dupree now a part of their side uh, going into this one against the Catalan Dragons, a play that they didn't have earlier 
in the season. Clean breaks goes the way of Wigan Warriors. Again, not really that much of a surprise, that one, when you consider the likes of Field and French and what they can do. Also, of course, Marshall and Miski can uh, can certainly turn on the afterburners when they want to. The offload's very, very close there, as you can see. Look at Wigan. They're the second highest tacklers in the division, and that tells you that at times this season, they've had to win very, very tough, uh, but they're just not going away at the Warriors. And when you consider they have given away the least amount of penalties in the division, it's quite remarkable that that they're the second highest tacklers in Super League this year. The errors again, very, very tight. But look at the yellow cards. Nine for the Catalan Dragons. They have the worst yellow card ratio in Super League. They can ill afford to lose players in this one. It's going to be that tight. Uh, both sides will want their discipline to not let them down. Now let's pay tribute to the top performers for each team going into this game. <laughs> can see there in those statistics Tom Johnston and Liam Marshall doing very well indeed in those stats this season and they will have I'm sure a part to play come Saturday and did you catch the ratio of conversion between Harry Smith and Adam Kieran Kieran of course going to Wigan next season Smith will need to be better with the boot because quite simply kicking could be the difference in this one but we've kicked picked out some key men for both sides and there's no surprise who we picked out for Wigan that's right Jay Field and Bevan French. These two this season are in great form, just like they were last year. Look at what they do when they're on the field. They really are the power play uh, champions, really, for the Wigan Warriors. There between them, 27 tries this season, 38 try assists between them as well. And look at the tackle bus, look at the clean break. These two, they can hit you from absolutely anywhere. They don't do as much in defence, but they don't need to, of course. Uh, the offloads, well, a lot of the time, uh, they don't offload because they're too quick. It's just the simple assist in most cases. And since Bevan French has been in the halves, of course, he's getting his hands on the ball far more. 312 carries this season, and of course, Bill at 247. These are the two men, without doubt, that Catalan have to stop. If these are on their game, there is a big chance that Wigan could beat the league leaders and really make it a fascinating end to the season in terms of who wins the league leaders' shield. Now, many would think it was a bit of a mismatch, but of late, it has to be said, Tyrone May and Mitchell Pearce are really showing grand final form. Look at what they've done over the course of the last two games, and quite frankly, it it absolutely rivals what we've just seen in terms of field and French. These are the two last games that they played, Warrington Wolves and the Lee Leopards too. Of course, Leopards, the Challenge Cup winners. And look at that. Three tries between them in the last two games. Seven assists between them as well. The tackle buster there. We've got a clean break from Tyro and May. There's no doubt about it. Those statistics are as good as anything that we have just seen from French and field. And for me, this is where the game could be won and lost. Which of those Four men are going to turn it on. Which are going to have the biggest biggest plays on the night? The stroke of genius that each one of these players possesses, I think it's going to be on show throughout the game come Saturday. In order for them to do their thing, of course, they're going to need the forwards to be big and brave down the middle. The hard meter makers for the Catalan Dragons, as you can see there, Julian Busquet, Mikel Goudemont and Mike McMeekin. Decent averages, and they do hold far better averages than the Wigan counterparts. This is Wigan, uh, Liam Byrne, Patrick Mayo, and Tyler Dupree. There's no doubt about it. 
Catalan have a far more potent pack. If they get on top of the Wigan Warriors, then perhaps, just perhaps, that could be the difference to allow Mitchell Pearce and Tyro May to play their brand of rugby league and, of course, bring in the edges that we know are so devastating for the Catalan Dragons. Wigan Warriors will be buoyed by the fact that Cade Ellis is back as well, which gives them more options down the middle. And Patrick Mago last time out was quite simply colossal. So don't count out this Wigan pack. They could go toe-to-toe with Catalan and they could come out on top. Now, as always, on Tuesday night, it was Super League Raw Weekly. And both myself and Greg discussed this game in great detail. In fair on, on Saturday. I think it's going to be a belting game. Of course, Catalan have done the number on Wigan twice already this season. Really, yeah. uh, you know, that blowout at Magic where they were just sensational. Tom Johnson that day. The performance of the season from a Catalan, yeah. that, that, was, that was superb. And the 22 Wigan got, if you remember, they scored a lot of those points at the back end when the game was gone. 46 yeah. 22 flattered Wigan, believe it or not. A more tighter affair early in the season, 18 10 at the DW going the way of Catalan. I think Manny Mao scored that. Yeah, way. I think you might be right. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah that is, memory serves me right. He had a, I think, I think, did he get a brace that night? I think he got two, actually, as a sitting here now. Um, well, That's back in the midst of time. Knowledge, sir. Um, this, for me, uh, is going to be tight. I think it's game on. Um, I'm still going Catalan, though. I, I think Catalan win. They win this, they win the Shield for me. Uh, I, I, I just can't see them not winning the Shield if they win this game. And I think they will. I think they'll get over the line against Wing. And I think it'd be tight. Uh, I do. Um, but based on history this season, uh, I can't see Catalan not winning by two scores. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go Catalan 9-17 to 17 because, you know, winning by eight at the DW, blowout at Magic, what they've just done to Lee. Don't get me wrong, yes, Lee. Backing up after Challenge Cup, Lee, Lee were probably the best team they could have played after that Challenge Cup final. Absolutely, but home home soil, you know they're on a they're on, they're on a good run of form. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Catalan nine to seventeen. Gary Schofield sees it the same way. He sees Catalan nine to seventeen. You know, we, we, we mustn't we mustn't forget uh, that they are on a four game winning streak. The Catalan Dragons um, in in Super League. Uh, yeah. We're going to have yes, a four yeah. gamer as well. They both they're both on a four gamer. Um, I just fancy Catalan. What are you thinking? I'm going to make a prediction. Go on, mate. Wigan, golden point. You're going one to eight the pies. One to eight. Wigan, golden point. If it's golden point, I want a bonus five marks. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. I'm getting greedy Behave now. Me. I, I think me. this is going to be really, really tight. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to go. To go. I think this is, as you say, they're both on four, four games unbeaten. Yeah. I don't think I don't think Catalan go more than four games unbeaten. Mate, mate. I think they have a history of four or five, and then they lose. Um, um, it's good knowledge, right. mate. It's good knowledge. Yeah, they, they got to a five-game winning streak at the start of the season. They've had. Yeah. Oh no, actually, no. It's not good knowledge. My apologies. They've actually been on a seven-game winning streak this season. Are they well four, five, six, seven, whatever. Yeah, six, seven. Um, yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's single figures. There's, um, there's a step song in there somewhere. Go on, carry on. <laughs> wow, <laughs> steps. Let's do it. That is your challenge for team of the week. Steps. Steps. Get steps ones in. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah, my boom boom baby. It could be boom boom baby. Boom boom baby's that driving me steps. crazy. That's. Well, it was, wasn't it? That yeah, was steps. No, Five, six, seven, eight. Was was, mate, that's knowledge for you. Five, six, seven, eight by steps. That was, mate. Absolutely. Benga boys. No, mate. Boom, 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 that was we like to party. Anyway, we digress. We've done cricket yes. this as well. Oh, well, let's it's like, it's like being back at Smith's in the 90s. It is. Uh, yeah, I'm going Wigan one to eight, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's a golden point. A golden point to yeah. the pie. There's well, a bold prediction. Yeah, well, yeah, and again, you know, fascinating, isn't it? Looking at the chat here, Steph going drop goal the other way. Uh, you know, Wigan by one to eight, Freddie McGilvery, Kevin Ogden, Cats by one to seven, um, Barry La. Lamprell, I hope I've said that right. Catalan's one to eight. Uh, Ryan Birch, he's uh, put Turner's back on after getting over the embarrassment of not being top of the fantasy league. He's going <laughs> Ryan. He's going Catalan <laughs> to seventeen. Uh, but very, very close. Very, very close. Yeah. So that was, of course, my and Greg's predictions on Tuesday night. We couldn't agree, and neither could the fans forum. Everybody absolutely going one way or the other. It could go either way, couldn't it? Both squads have been announced, and two very strong squads as well. As you will see there, see how Takiaho uh, of the Catalan Dragons is back in the side this week. Matula Guerre misses out for them, and of course, Cade Ellis returns 
for the Wigan Warriors. The superstars all over the field in this one. It really couldn't be tighter, could it? I think Adam Kieran for the Catalan Dragons could be pivotal with his with his kicking. Can Tyro May and Mitchell Pearce make it three games from three in terms of exceptional form? We'll have to wait and see. Arto Morg, of course, is back for the Catalan Dragons. He was brilliant earlier in the season, and that's going to allow them to manage Sam Tompkins. Uh, of course, Tompkins played in the halves at Magic and Morg was at fullback, but I think based on the quality performances of Tyro May at standoff, he's going to be hard to budge, so I do see it as a, a shootout between Morg and Tompkins for fullback. Perhaps Sam Tompkins will come off the bench. They'll keep him fresh, maybe uh, after about 30 minutes once the Wigan defence is tiring. Then maybe, uh, you know, it may be that Steve McNamara then decides to put on Sam Tompkins. Kings, but there's no doubt about it. They're in good shape, the Catalan Dragons, coming into this one. And actually, the same can be said for the Wigan Warriors. We know Wigan have had plenty of injury concerns throughout the season. Uh, the return of Kay Ellis, I think, is vitally important. It just allows them to rotate a little bit more. I think both Harvey Hill and Junior Zen Good, it has to be said, uh, these two youngsters for Wigan, uh, deputising for the likes, of course, Mike Cooper out for the season, etc. So they've got plenty of options there, both now and, of course, the future looks bright for the Wigan Warriors. And, of course, Sam Powell is back as well, uh, which will allow uh, both he, maybe, and Brad O'Neill to, to rotate in the hooker positions. That's going to freshen it up as well. If you remember, all the way through that game at the Magic Weekend, the Catalan Dragons peppered the right edge of the Wigan defence that day, without question, Abbas, Miski and Toby King were under the pump throughout the game. The following week, of course, Toby King was left out against St. Helens. Such was the leaky nature of that side of their defence. Will Catalan go down that side again because they had so much joy the last time? Will Wigan have planned for that? I'm sure they will do. No question about it. These two sides have got bags of quality. They're in great form. It's first against second. Now let's take a little listen to some of the players and the coaches going into this game. Obviously, it's my old club, it's my hometown, um, and you know that was where I made my debut and, and started my, my rugby career. So um, it, it's always you know, a, a big game for me, but at the same time, it's you know in the, in the bigger picture now, it's it's a massive game for us as a club. Um, if, if we can win this game and the second place at the minute, with you know Lee was joint second last week, and we managed to get a good win there. So yeah, to, if we can get one on these as well, then it'd be a great result for us. You know, we're going to our top side. And I think when you get to this this part of the season, everyone, you know, is they're hitting the straps. Um, it, it's it's just a massive game. At the end of the day, like like I said before, it, it's it's a bit of a four point. If we can win and you know create create a bit of a gap between first and second between them, then you know it, it gives us a bit of gives us a bit of space then, and we're going to be have a tough job to do. I think we've we've done a lot this pre season and and in the season as well. That's a credit to Tom Abosk. Um, he's our, obviously our attack coach, and, and to all the staff, you know, every meeting we have, it's it's about you know staying humble. And at the end of the day, if we get carried away with ourselves, that's when you slip up. That's when you lose games, and you know we can't afford to do that. So um, you know, everyone's really focused. Every training week's been a great week, and if we can keep building in games, keep that foundation, and you know, getting the little one percent parts right, then yeah, we're in the right place. We just got to you know play the conditions well, and um, obviously it's going to be fatiguing for both teams, but. Um, Look, we'll, we'll embrace it and go there. And I played in Catalan as many times before. It's, it's been, it's been hot. We've just, you know, got to make sure we keep hold of the ball. And if we do that, then uh, we'll give ourselves a good. Chance. The uh, subplots is the the story at the top. The middle fight for the playoffs is the relegation. So I think uh, every week up until the end of the season is going to be um, a lot to play for. I don't think we have an issue with discipline. I thought I thought we did last week in the first half. I thought we slipped. Our standards slipped slightly. Uh, but not much, and uh, we've been very, very good all season, very good all season in that area, and uh, we'll continue to, to be for the rest of the season. First versus second in the competition, that's that's this week, you know, in the the Super League ladder, we're first, they're second. Statistically, nearly across the board, we're very much the same in, in all the areas, all the key areas, so it's going to be a, a, a very, very good match on Saturday. Although they're the best team in the comp, I think they've got great balance, uh, very intelligent, obviously they've got plenty of experience through their spine, and they're big and physical as well, you know, two outstanding wingers, uh, so I just think they're a balanced team, uh, they play the game the right way, they don't, they don't give you much breathing space, and uh, plenty for them to be proud of, you know, but you know, we know that we can we can threaten them, uh, and, and we've got to be close to our best. If not our best performance of the season, to come away with from two points, but 
that's what we're preparing for, and uh, that's what this game demands. Great mutual respect by both sides going into this game. Be sure, if you're Catalan and Wigan fans, to subscribe to both of their TV channels where you can get those interviews in full and plenty of more brilliant content for your sides. This one couldn't be tighter, could it? We cannot wait for Saturday. It's without doubt the game of the week. Perhaps it could be the game of the season. The league leader's shield is at stake. Wigan have to win. If Catalan do win, perhaps it's going to be their second league leader's shield in their team's history. Are you ready? Strap yourself in. Enjoy the game, everybody. Here comes the trailer. We'll see you next time on Game of the Week. All Super League Raw content, head over to YouTube now to our Super League Raw channel where you will find Game of the Week, Super League Raw Weekly and, of course, In the Sheds. Also, join us on Facebook for Super League Raw Fans Forum where the community grows every single week. It's the place to be if you love your rugby league. We'll see you next week for Game of the Week. Bye for now, everybody. <laughs>